Hello and greetings, YouTube, Lock and Load Ninjas, internet at large. Just back off the range, uh, I had the enviable task of taking three Nighthawk custom guns out to shoot. I know somebody's got to do it, and I'm going to do it so you don't have to do it, okay? So, I want to lead off with this one because this is the Nighthawk Custom Thunder Ranch pistol. Now, of the three that I received to evaluate, uh, this is the one I had no experience whatsoever with. Um, the other two, the President, the Agent 2, I shot those a year and a half ago. Uh, I've always loved them. Getting them and, and getting to shoot them again was a very special treat. This gun is a very storied gun, though, because Thunder Ranch, Thunder Ranch is the, uh, the training school out of Oregon run by Clint Smith, that he's founded in 1993. He carries some very high-end 1911s. Um, of the ones that he's ever carried, this one may be the one that has the, believe it or not, the lowest price tag. But this gun, the, 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 the stuff that went into this gun was based upon what he wants. And apparently Mr. Smith is not a very flashy guy. He is very basic, very fundamental, and those are the kind of things that just never break down. So, beginning back here, we have 25 LPI checkering on the front and back strap. Um, very nice, very even, very easy to grip. On either side, you've got linen micarta grips. Now, these are really nice. I love the texture of them. If you're, in, if you're carrying inside the waistband, um, this is not going to, you know, rub a uh, wound channel all the way to your kidneys. This is going to, you, you're going to be able to carry this all day, every day. The safety and the slide stop are just basic. It, it's not extended. It's just your basic GI type, basic GI type uh, safety and slide stop. Skeletonized hammer, of course. Single solid trigger. Um, you know, the solid part of it is... Uh, it, it's not skeletonized or anything else. Not exactly curved and not it's nowhere near straight. It's sort of oval. The trigger pull and reset is impressive. <laughs> I mean impressive. Then right here, you've got the uh, Heine sight on top of, and you've got it on either side, you've got the, the uh, Thunder Ranch logo on both sides uh, on the cocking serrations right here. Additional cocking serrations on the front if you like to do that number. The hiney side is just a plain blade on the back and you have a bead, a brass bead on the front with a, you know, a nice easily, easily acquired sight picture. And that was the first thing I noticed when I stuck it out in front of me, how easily it was to acquire. Now this is in 45. And this, this was Clint Smith's specification. This is, a, you know, in a standard configuration, it's an eight-round, 45, with very good range manners. At first glance, when I saw this, my first thoughts looking at this pistol was, it's nice, but it was nothing special. And then I took it out and I shot it. And my mind changed.
So coming off the range, my big takeaway about this gun is it, I, I have a, a Nighthawk Custom Falcon. And I thought in, in 45, and it was my belief that it was the finest shooting 45 ACP that I'd ever picked up. Until this. And mind you, I wasn't shooting great ammo with this. I forgot I forgot the range ammo that I had taken, so I had to be I had to settle for some reloads. And even with the reloads, this was hitting everything I was aiming at. And the special emphasis on uh, presentation as far as hitting your target was uh it stunned me because I was trying other guns and I was paying a lot of attention to where I was hitting as well. And um, this one made it easy. I mean, even the mag release. This reminds me of the old GI mag release that was on my Ithaca. But this is not a GI issue gun. This... This is the best of everything, the best materials, the best, uh, the, the fit, the, you know, one of the hallmarks. If you've never run a slide on a Nighthawk gun, these feel like they're electromagnetically suspended. So taking that Nighthawk quality of build and using the basic precepts that Mr. Smith wanted to have in a gun, we have this. And on the slide, it says combat special. That's all he wanted was a combat gun. And so, you know, no magazine well or anything like this. This is basically a, this is what, <laughs> if we could have had these in the 80s, I can't think of anybody that had to carry a 1911 that would not have taken a gun that hits like this. So, well done, Nighthawk. Mr. Clint Smith, my hat tip to you. Maybe one day I'll get to take a class in Oregon. I don't know. That'd be fun. This time next month, I'm going to be in Berryville, Arkansas, and I'm going to be filming at Nighthawk, and I'm taking the three guns they sent me back, and I'm thinking that one of these guns is staying with me, and I don't know. I don't know which one it's going to be. Before, I thought I had it figured out. Now, it's muddied up. Um, I really like this pistol. I really like this pistol. So if you have it, the three guns I have to consider on, okay, Agent 2, the President, Thunder Ranch. I'm a big 9mm guy. This is in 45 ACP. I'm, I'm, I'm just thoroughly confused right now. I don't know which direction to go in. If you have an idea, comment down below. Tell me what you got to say about it. But that's coming up. Uh, I got two other videos coming about the other two pistols. So, you know, I wanted to give each one the time they're due. Um, if you like this kind of content, and I hope you do, give me a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to the channel. That would be really nice. Um, I have to go somewhere and ponder a little bit now.